I've been studying metastasis <coughs> research. Why, why do tumor cells move? Why do they leave the tumor? Why do they go to distant sites? And is growth in a distant site different than that original breast tumor? And the answer is yes, uh, for 25 years. I've had the privilege of working with a number of you, uh, teaching project lead, working with the DOD program, uh, on and on, and it's so lovely to see some of you here again today. Um, let's talk about how we can do things differently, okay? And we're gonna talk about two different things. We're gonna talk, one, about preventing metastasis from happening at all, and two, we're going to talk about once you have a metastasis, preventing more metastases, okay? So they're the two things. And I, I want, you know, after 25 years of thinking and thinking and trying and trying, I've got a few ideas and I'm going to pitch them to you. I pitched them to the rest of the world in a nature perspective in August or September. Um, and so hopefully we'll get a little conversation going. Not only of how do we need to do things differently, but what is it going to take to get it done? Okay, so a couple of lessons that I hope are easily understood. What it takes to eliminate a metastasis that's, you know, a couple <coughs> centimeters big is completely different from what it takes to prevent a couple of tumor cells from growing into a metastasis. So shrinking a metastasis is different than from preventing its initial outgrowth. Do you get, you get what I'm saying? Here's the idea. Here's a detectable metastasis and it's a pile of tumor cells. And this could be a single cell, which we can't find on scans, or a little micromet, a couple of tumor cells, all right? This is millions of tumor cells. This is a couple, okay? When a tumor has grown this big, we've all heard of angiogenesis. It has developed this very strange blood supply. It's called tortuous. It's not neatly organized the way our normal body is, okay? This has a fairly normal blood supply. It's a single cell or a couple cells usually hugging a blood vessel. Because of that tortuous blood supply, drug delivery is tough. And it becomes even tougher because after you get that, you get edema, which is, it's, it's swelling, okay? And because of that, there's this water pressure pushing out from the lesion, okay? And so for drug to get in, it has to fight its way in, get it? Where here, you have a fairly normal blood supply, you don't have all that edema, and theoretically, in our animal studies, the drug can get to these cells more easily. Make sense? Yes. Um, to shrink this lesion, you have to find something cytotoxic. It's got to kill the cells to shrink the lesion, okay? That will work as well in a prevention setting but it could also be cytostatic. In other words, just holding that tumor cell in check. Don't, don't grow, don't move, just sit, you're like a mother, sit down, shut up, okay? <laughs> so you need fundamentally different kinds, or you can have fundamentally different kinds of, of drugs. Drug, as I said, drug delivery is tough here because of the blood supply and the edema, where here we think it's much, much easier. 